All right, today we're going to do a pretty quick video on an old amplifier we had laying in the closet that uh, somebody was looking for one, so we decided to dig him up and uh, wash him down a little bit and fire him up and see what we get. Um, this is an old Mohawk 10 4A, basically, a uh, amplifier made for CB radio. Um, reason I say that it's single band and pretty much uh, tuned for uh, 11 meters um, some models came with a built-in driver in it uh, this one does not um, this just has two 572 B's and uh, normally the ones with the driver the driver would go in that hole right there and this one does not have a driver and also with the driver uh, a 6146 they regulate the screen with two OB tools or something like that tools which would go in those slots there but hence since this one doesn't have the uh, 6146 driver it doesn't have or need the OB2 uh, regulator tubes now originally I thought this one was a piece of junk when I got it because uh, it had this big old transformer and it was really heavy and it didn't have a top cover but uh, after looking at it in detail the reason it didn't come with a top cover is the transformer sticks out above the top a little bit so the cover probably wouldn't fit on it and I uh, found out that it's a Peter Dahl transformer pretty heavy duty uh, transformer I didn't see any ratings on this transformer and I tried to look on the internet and didn't get any model numbers or anything um, but I do see that it's a um, really heavy transformer it sticks under the bottom a few inches too so it's a pretty big hunk of iron and this thing's heavy uh, a lot heavier than uh, the Pry DX300 that I've been playing with recently and uh, that's about it as far as looking at it it does have an input tune with that coil there in the center so it uh, has a real good input SWR about 1.5 other than that it's a basic amplifier with a normal Pi circuit with a tune and load um, has a doorknob cap there uh, has a fan and your plate choke this thing is actually pretty darn well made uh, um, to inflame the hams I think it's better than made than most um, uh, ham amateur amplifiers with 572 B such as the Dentron or the Heath kit which I have had and gotten rid of I think this is a heavier unit heavier parts heavier components uh, input tuning um, well designed and it says so in the manual that it had that uh, it could do SSB and uh, AM continuous and uh, 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 do a carrier for 50% duty cycle at full carrier and most ham amplifiers can't do that um, far as the settings it has uh, just uh, standby and then normal which would be AM and delay would be SSB and it's got a knob in the back to uh, uh, turn up and down the SSB delay and other than that it has a uh, power switch main power off and on and a multi-function meter switch with uh, RF output, uh, plate current, and plate voltage. So not bad. I got um, um, pretty good metering. Heavy duty transformer, heavy duty components. And uh, let's see what it does. Actually we're overdriving it a little bit because this one doesn't have a driver and our radio is just a 4 watt uh, radio there so we are putting um, this JB76 uh, into it. Uh, we're dead keying about uh, three or four watts in it and probably swinging to about uh, 75 into it, which is overdriving a little bit, but um, we're not going to mistune the JB76 to get it any lower, and we're not, the radio doesn't go any lower. So let's key her down right quick. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. Hello, right now we have the MFJ Giant watt meter on uh, average. 
you could have heard the relay kicking in and out. Hello, 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 because we had it on AM and it's dropping out when I don't have any signal because of how much lower dead key I'm putting into it. But hello, uh, it's winging about five, six hundred on average. And let's put her on peak here. I mean, we are going into a dummy load. And the MFJ reads exactly like the birds I have. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. Hello. About 1100. It wasn't doing that much earlier in the day when the line voltage was down. But we're doing um, 11, 1200 watts out of this thing. Peak. The MFJ. Not the MFJ. The uh, Mohawk Model 10. Linear amplifier, 10, 11 meters only. You can set it up for six meters by uh, changing the um, coil there, and that's how they got it around the FCC. It was marketed as a six or 10 meter amplifier. But that's gonna do it for the um, Mohawk Model 10-4A with the Peter Dahl Big Transformer in it. Happy New Year.